Yo, yo, yo. CPA Strength here, back again. Strongest licensed CPA in the state of Florida. Get my workouts in, get my daily videos up. Going after my tax business, getting it in. Okay, what are we doing here? We're learning the basic fundamentals here. This is number 131 of my classic series, Accounting for Beginners. We have the complete playlist over here. This is also a subset, journal entries made easy. As you can see on the bottom of the screen, we have a journal entry that we're doing today. This is from April, April 1st, Adams and Family Inc. opened, and then we're doing journal entries as we go along. So let's just, let's get into this. I know I say that, I've been saying this almost every journal entry made easy, but I want, I want you guys to realize it too. This is the DC Adler. Debit, credit, asset, draw, expense, liability, equity, revenue. Asset, draw, expense increases, you would debit them. Asset, draw, expense decreases, you would credit them. Liability, equity, revenue increases, you credit them. Liability, equity, revenue decreases, you debit them. Now from our other, from our other journal entries, you could add this on your DC Adler too. We know, we know that assets, cash, office equipment, accounts receivable, those are common assets. And if you can't remember off the top of the bat what they are, start writing them down with your DCA on your paper every morning and you'll get it. Common liabilities, accounts payable. So as you can see on the bottom of this one, oh, we also have, sorry, we also have debits equal credits. Every, every, every time. Debits on the left, credits on the right, and they always, always equal. Always, every time they're gonna equal. Ready to have some fun? We're gonna get this journal entry in. Now this is a lovely skill, it hasn't changed in 500 years, might be a little outdated, but let's let go! Hey, let go. We're kind of fired up today. So what do we got? April 12th, we got paid, Moralton Company, $800 for debt incurred on April 7th. April 7th, that was an accounts payable. We did that, we did that about, uh, let's see, three journal entries ago in this and uh, journal entries made easy. Anyways, what happened on, uh, that date is we got office equipment, so we debited office equipment because that was an asset, and we and we said, hey, I'm gonna owe you, I'm gonna pay you later for it. I don't have the cash for it right now. I'll pay you later. So that was a credit of accounts payable because we were liable for it and accounts payable, and so that was the credit because our accounts payable was going up. Now comes April 12th, right? Yeah, now comes April 12th, and we're saying, hey, Moralton Company. We fit to pay you back, dog. We got, we got, we got. We don't have all of the money we owe you. We have some of it. We owe you eighteen hundred dollars. We have eight hundred dollars of it right now. So, what do you think? What would you do if you're here right now? What would you do if you have this on a quiz, on a test, and you say we pay the Bolton company back eight hundred dollars of what we owe them? Hmm. Is there cash? I tell you, I would start with the cash. Yes, we paid somebody $800, so that means we have cash, so let's get done with the cash first. So we paid someone $800, that means we have less cash in our bank account. What is cash? Cash is an asset. I'm telling you, if you know the cash, you're gonna do really good in journal entries, and you're gonna do fairly well in accounting. I mean, if you just know Cash, cash is an asset, and if it's increasing, it's a debit. If it's decreasing, it's a credit. If you just know that, I would, I would venture to say you could probably pass your accounting class, the basic accounting class. We have $800 less of cash that we gave to the Marlton company that we owed them. We owed them $1,800, we gave them $800. We have, we know, okay, we have cash is decreasing. What is cash? Cash is an asset. Let's go to our DC Adler. If it was increasing, if we were getting more cash, we'd, we'd debit it, but we're not. We're, we're paying someone, so we have less cash, so we're gonna credit it. So we're gonna credit cash, $800, and cash is an asset. Alrighty. Now, we owed somebody $1,800, and that was under, in our other journal entry, that was an accounts payable. So if you go to general ledger accounts payable, you're gonna see we owe under that, we're going to say accounts payable, Moralton Company, $1,800. All right, so let's think about the other half of this here. 
Why do we have the outlay of $800? Why do we have less cash of $800? Because we're paying somebody back. So if we're paying somebody back, do we, th we owe them more or do we owe them less? Well, let's think about it. We owed them $1,800, we paid them $800, so now we owe them $1,000. So we owe them less money. And we already, we already said it was an accounts payable before when we owed them the money, when we increased it. So we're gonna decrease the accounts payable because we owe them less money. So we're gonna decrease the accounts payable account in this, in this journal entry. How do we owe them? Mm. Decrease an accounts payable. What's an accounts payable? Well, we know we know pretty much all payables are are liabilities because payable to somebody, so we're liable for it. So we know accounts payable is a liability, and the accounts payable account is decreasing. It's going to decrease by eight hundred dollars because we owed them a certain amount and we're paying them back. So if we have an accounts payable decreasing, where would that go? Well, let's see. An accounts payable is a liability. If it was going up in value, if it was increasing, we'd credit it. But it's not, it's decreasing. If it's decreasing, we're gonna debit it. So we're gonna debit accounts payable for how much? How much is the accounts payable decreasing? $800. Also, you know that debits have to equal credits, so that checks out. And that's a liability, an accounts payable is a liability. Does our story check out? We have, we have less cash. So we credited for $800, because cash is an asset. And we have an accounts payable lessening, and that's a liability, so that checks out. Because we're gonna debit that. Ah, uh, you know what, I'm feeling a little frog, I'm feeling a little froggy today. What's that gonna, what's that gonna do to our, uh, our balance sheet? Assets equal liabilities plus equity. We have an asset decreasing, decreasing $800 with our cash. And then we have a liability decreasing by $800. All things equal, this one journal entry, it balances out because now we have less assets equal less liabilities plus equity. So we have negative $800 on each side. So our balance sheet checks out. Anyways, we having fun, we rolling through these journal entries. I really hope that, you know, if you, if you watch a journal entry video every day, which I'm putting them out right now, or you just watch a journal entry video, do a little bit of accounting, 10 minutes a day. These, video, these videos are like 10 minutes a day. You can get this in. All right, I spent years and years and years before it finally clicked, but I just kept up with it and it finally clicked for me. And now I'm here teaching the world and my accounting channel has maybe, uh, it's one of the biggest accounting channels on YouTube. So that's a blessing. Anyways, I'm really, trying to stay busy in my life, trying to stay a beat, and trying to go get it. This is CPA Strength. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Until then, grind hard, study, stay busy, go after it, go get it. Anyways, deuces.